thank you so much for joining us for the 12th and the last episode in our Working From Home series. We really appreciate all of the positive feedback that we've had from you guys and we're delighted to have been able to offer a few simple tips and tricks to help you cope while working from home. This week we thought it would be really handy to actually revisit some of the techniques that we've already shown you. So in this video we're going to show you a quick and simple full body routine which focuses on the main problem areas. And as we've said throughout the series, these techniques can be done anywhere. So when things perhaps go a little bit back to normal and you resume perhaps working in an office space, then hopefully you can take some of these tips and techniques with you. Start by gently tipping your left ear towards your left shoulder till you start to feel a stretch in the left side of your neck. To help with isolating the neck muscles, reach your right hand towards the floor or hold on to the right side of the chair. If you want to increase the intensity, you could use your hand to apply gentle pressure to the head. You can hold this stretch for 20 to 30 seconds and then repeat the same stretch on the opposite right side. This lateral stretch can be repeated two or three times on each side. Be mindful not to let your right shoulder rise up and really focus on stretching those neck muscles. We will now show you a couple of simple self-massage techniques. So if you have long hair, start by popping it up in a clip or a ponytail so it's out of the way. Make sure your head and neck are nice and relaxed so your chin isn't jutting forward but just gently tucked in. Then as Lucinda's showing, you clasp your hands at the back of your head and use your thumbs to identify the grooves at the base of the skull, about halfway between the ears and the vertebrae of the neck. Use your thumbs to circle and then slide the thumbs up into the hairline. So you have the sensation of almost lifting the head up and off the neck, creating some traction. Then circle the thumbs down towards the top of the shoulders making sure that you're focusing on the muscles towards the back of the neck and not drifting too far to the side as there are some arteries there which you don't want to put any pressure on. You can be pretty firm with this. When it's done, relax your arms, shrug your shoulders, make sure the neck is still nice and relaxed and you can repeat this a couple of times. It's a really nice way to get the blood circulating into the muscles at the back of the neck which can become quite stiff when you're working at a desk for a long time. For the second technique, place your fingers at the back of the neck as Lucinda's demonstrating and you'll identify the bony processes of the neck vertebrae. Move to just either side of these vertebrae and gently tilt your head forward whilst using your fingers to drag down towards the top of the shoulders. This is a really nice way to disperse some of the fascia that might build up whilst you're static at your desk for a long time. Again, you can be fairly firm with this as much as feels comfortable for you and you can repeat this two or three times. And do make sure to keep taking nice, deep, slow breaths whilst you're doing these self-massage techniques. Lucinda will now demonstrate the cross body shoulder stretch, which helps to extend the back of the shoulder. Stretch the right arm straight out and bring the arm across the body. Bend the left arm at the elbow and hook the left arm under the right arm, supporting the right arm above the elbow. Use the strength of the left arm to pull the right arm across the body so you can feel a stretch in the back of the shoulder. Hold this for about 20 seconds and then repeat on the other side. For self-massage of the shoulders, start by slowly grabbing and then releasing the tissue of the upper traps, starting at the base of the neck and working all the way down and over the top of the arm. Make sure the arm that's not massaging is loosely hanging by the side of the body without tension. Now as Lucinda showing, Make a pincer shape with your thumb and fingers to pinch the upper traps with an upward motion. Rotate your head to the opposite side to create counter stretch and then work from the base of the neck all the way over the top of the shoulder. 
but be mindful to just pinch the upper shoulder muscle fibers and avoid the delicate muscles at the front of the neck. You can do this two or three times. Now take your forefinger and middle finger and massage in small circles across the top of the shoulders. You can apply quite a bit of pressure and it's a really nice way to disperse tension that's deep within the muscles. Now, as Lucinda will show, with your fingers separated and your head slightly tilted forward, rake your hands across the upper shoulders all the way from the back to the front. And this is a really nice way to help completely release the muscle fibers. Now let's try a gentle seated twist. Start by perching close to the edge of the chair with a nice straight back. Think about actively engaging your abs to protect the lower back and keep this activation throughout. Bring your arms up and take a nice deep breath in, exhaling as you twist to one side. Hold this for about 20 seconds. You can take another breath in whilst in the twist and use the exhalation to deepen the stretch. You can use the opposite arm to add a bit of extra resistance as you'll see Lucinda demonstrating. This is a really nice stretch to warm the muscles around the lumbar vertebrae. Bunch your hand up into a little fist, think angry baby, and hold for a few seconds. Then release the fist and stretch your fingers out as wide as possible. Give your hand a good shake and repeat. You can do it two or three times to get things moving. The second stretch is a wrist extension and flexion. Reach one arm straight out in front of you and point your fingers up towards the ceiling. You can use your free hand to pull the fingers back towards you and hold for a few seconds. Then let the hand flop down with the fingers pointing down to the floor and again use the free hand to add some pressure drawing the fingers back. After a few seconds release the hand and rotate the wrist clockwise and then anti-clockwise. You can repeat on the other side and this is a great stretch for the forearms and wrist. If you are struggling with physical or mental tension, these simple adjustments can really make a difference. But of course, the most important technique of all and the one that we tend to forget is your breathing. Um, if you'd like to try some breathing techniques, we do go through that in more detail in episode one of this series, so give it a look. As already mentioned, all of these massage techniques that we show you in our videos can be done without oils. However, if you do fancy adding this extra element into your self-massage routine, check out our video six, which gives you some really useful tips on the best types of oils and essential oils you can use. Thanks again for watching these episodes, everyone. And we really look forward to seeing you back in the workplace. Stay safe and stay healthy. Bye.